Hey guys, Merle Sells here. Today we're going to be going over an intro to Trapped Chests. Trapped Chests were introduced in 1.5 Minecraft, and we're going to be going over the basics of them to kind of prepare you for future tutorials that we will be doing. So to get started, we're going to need a tripwire, and in order to make a tripwire, you need one iron ingot, one stick, and one wooden plank. So we'll put this all in here real quick, and we will get two tripwire hooks. So next, in order to make a trapped chest, what you're going to do is you're going to put a tripwire and a regular chest into the crafting bench. And a regular chest. And then you're going to get a trapped chest. So now what we're going to do is... I guess we can just leave that there. And now what we're going to do is kind of just go over little silly things that you guys may or may not already know. The difference between a normal and a trapped chest is this little orange area around the kind of opening of the chest. And you can see it, it kind of is reddish orange and the regular chest appears like this. And if you do not have an updated texture pack for 1.5, this might not look any different to you. They both might exactly look the same. So I do recommend having an updated version of a texture pack to prepare for that. The cool thing about trapped chests and regular chests is that you could place them directly next to each other and they won't merge together. So as you can see here, we kind of did this, but you can take a trapped chest and then you can place a regular chest to the side of it and you can do it just like so. So you know, you can keep merging the regular chests if you want, but at the same time it's really cool because if you want smaller vaults or smaller chests for inside your vault or something like that, it's pretty cool. And so here. Normally trapped chests, if you open them, it only gives off one signal. So what happens is if I open it as well, you can see to the left of my screen and to the right that it's going off by two signals, so that it's sending two signals. So if we let go, it's gonna just let go. And now this works for up to 15 people. So if we have, you know, 13 other people in addition to us, the redstone wire will go all the way to 15, which is really cool. So next, this is just going to show you kind of, you know, you can see the wire behind it. So we're going to show you kind of how to hide the wiring. And as you can see, you can still see the redstone below it. So in order to hide the wiring for a trap chest, you're going to have to go one block behind and below it. And that way the redstone's hidden and nobody will ever know that it's a trap chest. Except for the fact that they can see the orange on the front. So as you can see here, it's just a different layout. One below it and it still activates and this is just a regular chest so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here real quick and we're gonna place a TNT so if you wanted to troll some people or you found a really cool mine and you know you wanted to just kind of troll some people what you're gonna do is you're gonna place a trap chest right here and you can hide the back of it and so that way when you open it you can hear the TNT going off and we're gonna back up a little bit and hopefully, you know, you'll use more than one TNT, but I don't want to blow up everything right now, so. And now, as you can see, we have this trap chest flipped backwards. It still works normally. Everything is fine. So it's a good suggestion if you're wanting to hide the front that the fact that it is a trap chest. So in order to place it, all you have to do is like I did before is you're just going to go like this and you're going to place it backwards. And or you can you can stand on it and jump upwards and it'll place it backwards for you. So the problem with signs is that it hides it a little bit, but it doesn't hide the redness completely. And obviously it's still a trap chest, but so you can't really hide it unless it is against a wall. For this, I just kind of wanted to warn you guys, if you are planning on using pistons for anything with trapped uh, chests, then you're going to want to make sure that it's going to be, they're going to have to like either collect things for a long period of time or something like that. Because when they open it, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna take a really long time to spread because normally you know you take your stuff and you close it and then it's just gonna stop it like that so for the next one it's really cool you can kind of have hidden doors and as you can see ducks is opening the chest and it's giving off one power so what we're gonna want to do is you know I'm gonna open it with him and it's gonna open a trap door that you can run through so it'll it won't work if I only I do it so it's kind of a cool little little nifty thing <laughs> and uh this is just showing you guys that you can do some really cool stuff with it and you can set it up so that you know if you hit certain chests it'll open something or it'll activate something in this case it's the bottom left one that turns on that light over there 
and as you can see, none of the other ones do it. See, this one turns on part of it. And you can you can set up really cool, like, little puzzles, or, you know, trap chests are gonna be a wonderful thing to have for adventure maps, and I'm really kind of looking forward to doing some adventure maps with ducks on 1.5. We still have not gotten that far. For this, as you can see here, there are blocks here, and it doesn't look like it, but with World Edit, the way that it works with chests is you can kind of make invisible chests. So we're gonna kind of make a little area here and get a World Edit tool, and now you're gonna set Trapped Chest. And what it does is it makes invisible ones, and as you can see, it, there will be two that are normal at the end, but the rest are going to be invisible, and they still work like a regular chest. You can still kind of put stuff in them, you can take stuff out, and they're very glitchy. But if you do have World Edit on your server or your private server, it is a cool little feature to add. And that's it, guys. In the next video, if it's posted, it will be in the description box below. If it's not yet posted, it will be posted very soon. And Ducks and I created a bunch of kind of awesome little trap chest tutorials for you guys and, you know, little uh, ways to kind of troll people on your server or on other servers. So I think you guys are gonna, really going to like it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. And until next time, I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Bye, guys!